Good evening gentlemen and welcome back to the shop. Tonight's little one hour project uh, I'll be showing you how to make these two fabrication V-blocks. Now first of all this is not a uh, precision machining V-blocks, this is for welding, fitting up, fabricating, that sort of scenario. Okay, so for this project I've got some offcuts from other projects. This is our quarter inch steel, mild steel plate that's about 9 and 7 eighths long by 3 and 3 sixteenths wide. And I've got two pieces of uh, angle iron that's 1 inch by 1 inch by 3 sixteenths thick uh, cut to the same length. What I've done is I've, I've pre marked all the holes on it. I'll be drilling these except the two center holes I won't be drilling right now and later on you'll see why. Uh, this is going to basically sit like in that order. Now I've left some I've left some space on the sides. You'll see later on how why why that uh, why I've done that as well. So I think let's get into into it and start drilling the holes. Now first off I'm gonna drill these holes with a four millimeter center drop just to get them on, on the marks and then we'll be cutting them bigger as we go along. Okay, so I finished up drilling the eight holes. Uh, I haven't drilled the cent holes, we'll do that as a final. You'll later on see why. What we can now do is start doing is mocking up uh, all of the pieces and start tacking them together. Now, you do not want to weld in here. Um, as long as you're using pipe, it'll be fine. At the moment you've got some square tubing or something that's square, you won't be able to get into that corner if there's a weld sitting there. So that's, that's the main reason why we drill the holes on the back side that we can plug weld them from the back. So I'm going to start tacking this together and uh, see how it turns out. Now that we've got these tacked off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp it in the vise and just tack the, the couple of central so we don't get too much warpage. I see it's already been pulling a bit. So let me just reset the camera. Okay, so I've tacked it all together, got all this back off. I've marked four one inch welds that I'm going to put right on the edge. Um, the thing is, you don't want to start welding on your tack. If there's stress, if there's stress on your tack, uh, it'll just jump off and, and it'll give you endless in this issue, so let's see how this goes. Okay, 
because uh, off camera I ran, I ran out of uh, storage space. So what I did was I finished off, cut it in half, uh, turned it off. The reason why we left this edge along is so that you can actually grind it down to form part of the 45 degree angle. So what you can now do, if you've got a weird setup, you can also use the, uh, the outside of the, of the V block to do your fit up before you start welding. So that was part of why we did it, that was the re reasoning from the beginning. Uh, I had to redo the center lines on it, uh, something walked a bit so I couldn't get right in the center. Uh, Repunched the hole, what we'll do now is we're going to drill the hole right through, I'm going to use an 18mm hole saw for it. Um, the reason for that is now, if we've got a hole in here, you can actually use it in your drill press, whatever the case may be, uh, and drill through it without drilling into it and walking around and you know, doing all sorts of funny things. So let's get to it, let's start drilling holes. Okay, so this is a finished product. Uh, as you can see, we've got 18 millimeters old holes to drill through, so now you can actually use it in your drill vise as well. Um, the main idea is that if you are setting up for some other fabrication of round, something round, you can actually place them in between the two V blocks, turn them around, weld whatever you want, um, do some piping here to the side, some notching, whatever, uh, but the idea is I mean, you can even offset pop up, something like that, uh, and you get, well, that's almost on the money. So really this, this comes in very, very angle, and you can also use it with square tubing, angle iron, whatever the case may be, because we didn't weld that, that seam on the inside there. Guys, that's it for this project. Oh, about a, just over an hour project, sort of everything and everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, uh, and I'll see what I can cook up for you.